Let me show you how you can use one fuel tank for very long jumps. So as we know there are two possibilities, economical routes and fastest routes. But there is a third one which I will show you a little bit later. Let's now just choose any destination. Let's pick Zeons, an example. Economical roads works, as you see. Field solid line means that I can make this jump with my current fuel tank without need to refuel. Dotted line means I can't make it so far. I don't even have fuel scoop. 36 jumps. Really? As you see, it's crazy. Small, many jumps. But what about fastest routes? As you see with fastest routes, I can only go around halfway. And it will be 6 jumps. But there is another way where you can actually choose how to limit your maximum jump range. But for that to work, you need cargo racks. That's why probably you would install cargo racks even on your exploration ship. And you, all you need to do is just move your slider. As you see, maximum jump range 3409. And you can move it all the way up to 2003. It's my fully loaded and empty ship jump range. And by doing that and remembering that as closer jump range to maximum jump range will drain your fuel tank much faster and smaller jumps will drain your fuel tank much less. That's why economical routes can get you very far away, but that's completely unpractical. So let's try around, let's try 30 and see if I can make it in 30. I can't. Let's make 28.7. Still no. Almost 26 light years. You see? 25.95 light years work. Let's see how many jumps I will have. 9 jumps. So economical route would bring me there in 36 jumps. Fastest in 6, but I would have to buy fuel scoop, waste my time. And with cargo racks you can set any jump range you want to. In my case 26 light years. And only 3 more jumps. 3 more jumps is 2 minutes more. And you don't have to stop in fuel scoop at all. So basically you are saving your time and you can jump 218 light years away. All you need to know is that if you have dotted line, then your fuel tank is not enough to go there. And if you have cargo racks installed, you can lower your maximum jump limit. And by doing that, you can jump much greater distance without need to refuel or fuel scoop. And if you are switching trade routes, you'll just save time. You can see it very easily. Let me show you now. You see dotted lines. This means this is not possible with your current fuel tank. You can only be able to jump to Shemash. But if you want to jump to the ones, you need to lower your slider to 26 around. Not yet. 25.95 worked for me. Not yet. See? Solid line means fuel tank is enough. Dotted line means not enough. So if you don't have fuel scope, just use slider. But you will need cargo racks. And it's very useful if you are switching between trade routes, which have quite some distance between them, because fuel is there cheap now. And all you need to do is just move slider and find the fastest way you can go there with one fuel tank. It's also useful in exploration if you don't want to waste your time scooping fuel. Because it doesn't really matter in exploration if you jump close to maximum and waste your fuel much more. And spend much more time on fuel scooping or jump like 5-7 light years less. But don't have to stop at stars and scoop fuel at all. Especially if you have low class and low rating fuel scoops. If you have high graded fuel scoop it doesn't matter at all. 
So that's just a small tip how to use cargo racks on your ship and slider in galaxy map to jump as far as you want, limit your maximum jump range and save your time, especially if you are flying a trading ship. Because you will need to go to outfitting, buy fuel scoop, go to your new trade route, hope you can switch fuel scoop to cargo racks, so just waste of time. 